so what's up you guys it's your girl young africana back at it again with another video um today i'll be showing you guys how i got this color and also installed her hair from start to finish so if you guys want to see how i did this then keep on watching so please excuse my voice in advance i don't know if i'm getting sick or not but um we should see during the week but um this hair is sponsored by icy hair what i did with the knots is i prepped it with um gossipy gel and the spray let it dry overnight just to protect the knots and for the colors that we're going to be using we're going to be using the kiss temptation and limelight and adore and clover now what i'm doing is just getting some tap water i'm not feeling the bucket all the way um, because the more water the more diluted the color would be so um, I'm just putting like just a little bit of water just so it could be really saturated and the water is warm so I went ahead and used limelight first and what I'm doing right now is just dipping the wig head first well not head first but frontal first just because the ends tend to catch a lot faster and a lot easier than the top and I want the colors to be the same throughout the whole entire Then I went ahead and got a makeup spoolie and I just went ahead and touched up the roots just so that it doesn't come out blonde at the end and you just really get that, you know, detail and definition in there. Now what I'm doing right now, I didn't change up the water because it's green so I didn't really care. So I put in the clover and I'm going to go ahead and mix that in. Now what I'm doing is just, I'm just brushing the hair just to make sure everything is aligned before I start dipping in for the ombre. And while you're ombre, you're just going to keep on dipping back and forth. Do not want to drop the hair inside the water because that will mess up the whole entire ombre. But while you're dipping, you're just going to keep on brushing just so that there is no harsh line of demarcation. And you're just going to keep on doing that until you get your desired color. Now, as you guys can see, this is how we are looking. And right now, I'm going to go ahead and take some shampoo and wash the rest of the gas to be from the, um, the lace, just so that it's not sticky at the end. And I, went, I already went ahead and dried and, you know, plucked and all this extra stuff with the wig. And this is my client as well. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm making sure that the lace matches her skin tone. And I'm putting gas to be free spray just so that the oils won't mess up with the glue. Now what I'm doing is cutting out some ear tabs and I'm just going to carve around her ear and then I'm going to cut. And you're going to do this for each side, you know, obviously, but I just had to say that just in case, you know, but yeah. Now I'm going in with 91% alcohol and I'm just rubbing down her um, hairline just to make sure that all the oils from the makeup that I put on her cap are gone so it can help the glue adhere better. And you just want to make sure you get behind the ear as well. Now I'm trying a new technique now where I'm just um, pretty much blueprinting my outline in a sense. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this random lipstick um, pencil and I'm going to go ahead and just go around um, her perimeter just to mark where I should not pass at. So wherever you mark that, you want to make sure that you don't go anywhere um, after that. And now I'll be going in with my Bold Hold Active and I'm just going to apply thin layers. I use four layers this time just for an extra hold. And I'm going to use my popsicle stick just to smooth that in. Now be careful um, to not get the glue um, right next to the um, the, the pencil just in case because once it touches then you can erase it off afterwards and that's not a pretty look you don't want dots in your pencil so after your four layers are nice and tacky i'm going to go ahead and start placing and again i didn't erase the dots just so i could kind of match them up to see where i'm placing at is correct or not so yeah i'm just going to go ahead and just Take my time, not too much time though, but take my time trying to match up the dots on the lace on her skin 
just so I know that I'm positioning it in the right places. And now I'm having her hold each side and I'm gonna go in with my blow dry and back toe comb and press in that lace into the glue. And I'm ha I have the blow dryer on medium heat just so I don't burn her. Now I'm going in with my Gossipy Free Spray just to help the stick even more. Again, like there's no such thing as an extra lead fronting. Like, you know, there's no such thing as too much protection. So I went ahead and put an elastic band around her and let her sit underneath the dryer for 30 minutes. And now what I'm cutting is just cutting little tabs and I'm cutting it into roots. And I'm using my eyebrow razor to cut around a perimeter just so that it gives me a jacket look. You don't want anything too straight across because then it's evident that there's things on her head. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and start parting her part. And I'm doing the C part, so I also want to make sure that I'm parting it in the back as well, just so that the back could cover the tracks. As you guys can see. Now I'm using my Carry Care wax stick, and I'm pressing that down just for my flyaways. And I'm going to use my hot comb to press down her hair, just so that the hair can stay flat, because you don't want no bumpy wig. Now I'm going back in with my Gossipy Free Spray and I'm just going to further melt in that place. Like again, there's no such thing as too much melt, you feel me? Now I'm going to go ahead and start parting out her baby hairs. And I'm just doing two baby hairs just because I'm not really a big fan of too many baby hairs on colored hair especially. So what I'm doing right now is just cutting out her baby hairs. Well not cutting out but carving out her baby hairs. And I'm using my hot comb to flatten it down. And now I'll be using my eyebrow razor again to cut my baby hairs. And I'll be using my Nairobi setting lotion to start swooping her baby hairs. And then I'll be using the Nairobi lotion all over the perimeter of her hair just so that we can have that nice sleek look and also too to help it further melt into her skin. Like the Nairobi lotion really seems to deal when it comes to the melt. And what I did after this is I put her underneath the dryer. I used a satin wrap around her hairline and put her underneath the dryer for about 15 minutes. Then I went back in with my hot comb just to press down her hairline. And I defined her part with um, my LA Girl Pro Concealer um, just so the part could be more definite. And now what I'm doing is, is I'm just curling her hair and I'm putting it in pin curls just so that the curls can last a little bit longer and for the curls to fully, fully cool down. And to get popping curls, this method is very much so um, necessary just so that it can last a lot longer. Now I went ahead and did her makeup off camera. As you guys can see, it's looking very nice. And what I'm doing right now is just taking down those pink curls. And you guys are gonna see the full magic of this. I was actually feeling the whole pin curl look like it was giving me like editorial magazine vibes where you know you see the people with the little rollos in their hair and they make up done, you know. I mean yeah, I was feeling it though. And yeah, you guys. I was over here mad excited, I'm like nah, yo, like this is fire. Yo, this is oh D fire. For me. And right now, what I'm doing right now is taking my weave brush and just gonna comb out those pretty curls. And as you guys can see, like the look, it just comes together. Like she just looks like a fire ass sprite bottle right now, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I was just so excited. I'm so happy how this came out. Um, I really want to do more colors, but these companies be playing. They just be wanting me to promote one B hair. I'm tired of doing just one B hair. Let me stop talking about shit. Though. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my hair and just form it um, till I feel like I'm very satisfied. And I'm very satisfied. 
One thing I did forget to tell you guys, I did cut some layers off camera. I didn't catch that finish, unfortunately. But this is the finished result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next segment. Deuces.